We first met Kate Sinclair, the producer, at Ham House when we had an exhibition of our own miniature version of Ham House on show there. And she said, I I'd love you to be involved in this project. I'm not sure how or what, but I really would like you to work with us. And it was a perfect fit for us. It's our favourite period. So, and we um, both read the book. And so we both read the book, book which was a total bonus. Fantastic. <laughs> There are quite a number of items, miniature items that have been made, some of which we have made and others we've organised in our miniature world, the world we work in, all the specialists that we that we know, we've organised for them to make pieces. So we've had a silversmith make the dagger, we've had a doll maker make the dolls, etc, etc. For this particular project, we've been asked to supply a whole range of things, sacks for a cellar and a gutted pig all the way up to a fine Vespiegel board, which I didn't know what that meant, but it means backgammon. So this miniature replicates an ebony and ivory box inlaid with mother of pearl, and this was very typical of the period. Lovely little detailed um, ivory inlay here. And the box contains the backgammon set, and then all the tiny little counters in there, the red and the ivory counters. And we've got these tiny little dice here. I had to put the dots on these with the head of a pin because they're so tiny, but every face has its correct dots and in the correct order. So one of the items we made for the TV production that came from a prop hire, and you will see in the programme, we had to make a miniature. The little lion's heads have been carved from lime wood, and then the fabric, again, has been exactly copied and printed in miniature to replicate the large fabric. And all the little nail heads have been individually put in, so it's quite a lot of work. And this is a really beautiful loot. The craftsman who made this would have researched the fine woods that have been used. There are actual individual strings on this loot. They all have little ebony pegs for tuning, and the little sound hole is so beautifully pierced, little fretwork. So that's just the finest little thing you could ever imagine.